Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how do we upload the ISO to ESXi 8 data store? Because in our previous session, we talked about Windows Server operating system and Windows Client operating system. Before we create a virtual machine and install the Windows operating system, first we have to download the ISO from Microsoft website. And once the ISOs are downloaded, we need to upload the ISOs to ESXi host data store. So I will show you the procedure. So let me connect to our ESXi host. So connect to the ESXi host using VMware ESXi host client. So you can open any browser and type our ESXi host IP address and log in. So once we log into the ESXi server 8.0 and to upload the ISO files, we have multiple methods. So one method is just select the ESXi host in the left in the left panel. You can see the look for a storage. When we select the storage, we have a currently one local data store. So the name is local hyphen data store hyphen zero one, and we have the space approximately free space is 800 GB. So if you want to upload the ISO to this data store, and first we can download the ISO from a Microsoft website. Just in the Google, you can type Windows 11 download. You will find the direct official Microsoft first link. And similarly, if you type the Windows Server 2022 download, you will find the direct Microsoft Evaluation Center download. But only thing is while downloading, we have to register with our ID. Then only we can able to download the ISO file. So default evaluation period, it's available for 180 days close to it's approximately six months. So you can similarly, you can download the client OS, uh, either client Windows 11 and server. So with interest of our time, I already downloaded the two ISOs. So now I will show you two methods. First method is how we can upload using the ESXi host client method. So from the ESXi host client, select the specific data store, click on data store, and you can see the data store browser. So click on data store browser. Currently there is no files in this data store, complete empty only. So if before we uploading, you can upload it directly using upload button or another way is we can create a directory just to easy to sort out. Let's say I'm preparing the IS directory name as ISOs. So create directory. So I created one directory. So when you created the directory, select this directory and you can choose upload. So while uploading, it will may look for a, your local system. Let's say I'm selecting as ISOs folder. So we already downloaded the Windows Server 2022. Select the ISO, click on open. So when you click on open, it start uploading the ISO. So you can see the percentage in the right side. So it may take a while to upload the ISO file. Once the ISO file is uploaded, we can able to create a virtual machine, window, new virtual machine and map this ISO to install the guest operating system, okay? So ISO upload is in progress. So once it is completed, I will show you the another method using WinSCP. WinSCP means Windows Secure Copy. That is also another way of uploading the ISO to ESXi host data store. Once this ISO is completed, I will show you the another client OS, Windows 11 version. I will show you using WinSCP how we can upload it to this data store ISOs folder. It's almost finishing. 84%. Okay, ISO is uploaded successfully. When you select this image file, you can see the Windows Server 2022 Evaluation Edition. It is a 4.7 GB. So it's uploaded successfully. So click on close. Now we can look for a, a Windows. Uh, we can plan to download the use the WinSCP. That is also free tool. We can download from the internet. So in my current system, I already downloaded the WinSCP. So when we download the WinSCP, you can just choose the tab SCP secure copy and you can enter our ESXi host IP address 192.168.10.83 is our ESXi host IP and enter the login credentials, root and password. Once we enter the credentials, click on login. 
So we connected to left side panel is referred as a our actual Windows system and right side panel is refers as a ESXi host. Normally ESXi host data store is stored under the VMFS folder. So click on VMFS virtual machine file system. There is a another folder directory called volumes. Under volumes directory, you can look for our data store name, local DS01. We already created a folder, ISOS folder just now. So either we can call folder or directory. So normal preferred terminology is directory. So we already created a ISOS directory. When you open ISOS directory, we already uploaded 2022. So now if we plan to upload Windows 11, so select the Windows 11 ISO from the left side panel from the Windows system, you can just select, drag and drop it here. So this is another way of uploading the ISO. So now Windows client OS, Windows 11 is uploading to our data store. Once this is completed, in our next session, I will show you creating the VM and installing the client OS and how to install the server OS. So after the client voice installation, server voice installation, I will explain you the Windows Server 2022 server roles like Active Directory, how to configure the Active Directory role and how to configure DNS and DHCP. So uploading is in progress. You can see the percentage here, 46%. So within few minutes, it will complete. Sixty three percent. OK, so it is uploading faster only. OK, it's almost finishing. So it's uploaded successfully. So you, we can see within our ISOS directory, Windows Server 2022 ISO is uploaded and Windows Client Operating System 11 version also uploaded. Just minimize and we can see from the data store. Select the data store, click on data store browser and verify from the our data store browser console, select the ISOs folder. See, we can see the two ISOs. When we select the first one, it's a 2022 ISO. When we select the Windows 11, this is approximate size is 5.18 GB. Okay, so both ISOs are uploaded successfully. So that's it. So thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the NAND Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Thank you. Bye for now.